So I had a lot of questions about how I got my bricks to look so 3D on my page from Daria Song's Time Chamber. Um, and I said I would do a tutorial, even though I'm very new to this and still learning myself. But um, I, I wanted to show you how I did the bricks. Um, I used Polychromos for this, and I only used two colors. I used the... 9201169 and um, Indian Red 9201192 and I made sure that they were pretty sharp it just for me it gives me a lot more control over what I'm doing and a, a, an ability to use a lot less pressure when they're pretty sharp so I just pick one or the other it really doesn't matter and I start um, just uh, one or two places in the brick and I just keep going back and forth over it and over it and just give a little variation like um, real bricks have. I have a tendency to have a, a much too heavy hand so I'm learning that less is more especially with these polychromos because you can layer and layer and layer and especially moving to polychromos after having used Prisma colors for a few months I'm seeing that you know you can layer a lot more with them without getting that waxy bloom so there's a lot more potential to increase the layers to get the depth of the color that I want so once I have those two main colors on I just go over the whole brick lightly with the other one. And usually I do back and forth motion. I know a lot of people um, instruct to color in circles. For me, I just have a lot of wrist pain and it's less painful for me to go back and forth than to try to do in circles. But. And I just go over the whole brick with that color a couple of times. Switch again. Sometimes emphasizing a little more now that I have more color down. Um, that area where I started out making it a little darker. And one thing about the edges, if I did the gray first on my page, um, the gray, which was the cement in between the bricks, and that really helped me define the bricks because it puts a little bit of a barrier there so your brown is not getting as heavy on the edges. And I think that that made my bricks stand out a little more just because it leaves that little bit of white space on the edge. So I don't know if that's true. I feel like it is, and I feel like it made it a little easier not to go outside the lines by having that barrier of gray set up there. And I used two grays for that as well and just rotated out um, where, where the heavier color was. But just back and forth, switching out colors, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, layer after layer, until I'm happy with it, until I feel like all the white space has kind of been filled in, feel like it's pretty smooth and just using a really light touch but lots of layers and um, that's pretty much it I I tended to smooth it out towards the end um, and try to get a little more blending um, I haven't used a blending pencil or any Gamsol on the bricks because Last time when I was working in the same book and did the bookshelf page um, and had a lot of the wood grain, I went back and did the Gamsol at the end and it and I sort of lost some of the texture of it. So I love Gamsol. I love blending with it and learning about it. Um, like I said, I'm pretty new. But sometimes I think for these pictures where you want some texture, um, maybe better not to use so much of the... Um, Gamsol or I haven't used the Vaseline but I've seen a lot of people really enjoying using it um, but I think sometimes you want a little bit of roughness or texture to your picture so 
that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Hopefully I've, I've covered everything that I can contribute to this. Like I said, it's just a lot of layers, very light hand and um, two colors and just going back and forth and, and over the entire thing, but adding a little more pressure here and there to give those bricks the quality that I want them to have. So I hope this helped. Um, I'm, I'm very humbled by everyone's response and questions to my to my technique because I'm still very early on. Um, one other thing I would add is when I did the um, inside of the page here, um, I did use a darker darker color in that same family group that I was using. Uh, I went to the um, violet. Uh, Let's see if you can see that. Um, 263. And I did use a pretty heavy hand. And I think that that also contributed in having a little more depth. So anyway, um, thank you again. And I hope this helps you.